Hello, I'm James George, and this is Create a Beacon, and this week I'm going to uh, help you solve a common problem in Illustrator. I don't know when they added this feature inside of Illustrator, but it's going to be in one of the recent versions, because I've only noticed it just recently that this has been happening, and I couldn't figure out why. I, I looked through all the settings, I looked through all the preferences in Illustrator, and I couldn't figure out why this was doing this. It was driving me crazy. And so if you've come across this problem, and it's driving you crazy too, I've actually got a solution for you, and it's uh, really easy. So, okay, you have two objects here, and you want them to be perfectly aligned. Um, the problem is, if you zoom in really close, you can see that these are not aligned. No matter what you do, they won't be aligned. You can't get them to be aligned. It won't work, even if you try to uh, align them both via the bottom. You know, if you try to, to nudge this it goes down below it and it just it will not work and I could not figure out why it was doing this or how to solve the problem and it like I said it was driving me bonkers and I couldn't figure it out here's the solution and I don't know why this is set to default but it is and nothing will align properly with it set and if somebody could explain to me why this why they would do this I would be glad to know because it makes no sense but if you've got two objects drawn on the screen and you want them to line up properly, then you go to transform this little link right here, click this, and there's a setting that's checked that says align to pixel grid. And it says it helps to, uh, this, let's see, what does it say? It says set this option to aligned object boundary to pixel grid and it prevents blurry lines. Well, it doesn't align both of them to a pixel grid because you know they both never line up. And so I that it doesn't work and it's frustrating. You can tell by my voice I'm frustrated by this. This took me forever to figure out why. I had to go online and research this and I flipped through every menu. It drove me bonkers. When you uncheck this box, this is no longer a problem. So you've got these two, and you click a line, and it's done. It's lined up like it's supposed to be. No more problems. Hope this helps you guys out. This was uh, pretty frustrating for me, but you, now you know how to solve the problem if you run into this in the Illustrator. That's my tip for this week. I'm James George. This is Creative Beacon.